Hey guys, it's Sam and this is my January wrap up. I started the year off kind of slow with only four books read because I decided to get obsessed with Elder Scrolls Online and that takes a lot of reading time away from me. The first book that I read this month was Passenger by Alexander Bracken. I requested this arc from Hyperion Exchange for an honest review. This is the first book in a time travel duology that follows two perspectives, Nick and Etta. Etta is a musical prodigy from our time and Nick is a privateer slash pirate from the past. And at the beginning of the story, Etta finds out that she can time travel. So I've already done a full review on this book, which will be linked on the screen. I enjoyed most of the story. I enjoyed the time travel elements. I enjoyed the world building and the different places we got to see. I didn't particularly enjoy the romance. I felt that it was a little bit too insta-lovey for me, but it is a duology. So that's maybe why they kind of rushed it. But I personally didn't enjoy the romance. I think that took away from it. But outside of the romance, I absolutely loved this story and gave it four stars. The second book that I picked up was Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. This is a story of Safi and Izult, and they are thread sisters, which means that they share a soulmate type friendship bond. Safi is a type of witch that is very rare, and the secret of her witchery gets out, and everything kind of takes off from there. I have already done a full review and gush on this book, which I will link on the screen because I have been obsessed with this book all month. I absolutely loved it. It was just the perfect story for me. I found the beginning a little bit clunky with the world building. There are elements of the world building that are kind of confusing. The way that the witchery works hasn't really been explained fully, and it's a story that could definitely benefit from having a glossary or something so you can keep everything straight. But once I got past the first hundred or so pages, everything kind of clicked. I loved the character. Characters, the characters from the first page I was obsessed with. I love every single point of view we get in here. I love their motivations and how complex they are. The romance in here is very slow burn. There are two romances that are both slow burn and just the plot and the twists I just didn't see coming and I absolutely loved it. I heard this is going to be a four book series. I originally thought it was gonna be a trilogy. It's gonna be four books. I love it. I cannot wait to reread this book and catch things that I missed the first go. Although I had some problems at the beginning, like I said, with the world building, I think that the characters and plot more than made up for it, so I gave this one five out of five stars. The next book that I picked up was The Knife and Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. This is the first book in a dystopian trilogy, and it follows our main character Todd, who lives in a world where there are only men and they can all hear each other's thoughts. But then one day he discovers a place where there is some quiet and he discovers a girl and everything takes off from there. So in my review I go into a lot more detail about this but I really didn't enjoy this book. I found it predictable. I found there to be a lot of plot recycling and that the same thing kept happening over and over. It is a survival story but it just felt very predictable to me. I thought that the villains were very flat and I personally didn't enjoy the characters. They are characters that you're either going to love or hate but I personally did not like them. I could not relate to them. I like unlikable characters, but I couldn't pull for them in any way, and I found myself not really caring about them at all. So ultimately, I ended up slogging through this book, and I only gave it two out of five stars. The last book that I picked up was Black Hearts by Nicole Casterman. I requested this art from Simon & Schuster in exchange for an honest review. This book comes out February 9th, and it follows the main character of Blackbeard before he was Blackbeard. This is actually a dual perspective story, so it follows him as well as a girl that he comes in contact with. I do plan on doing a full spoiler free review on this book, but I had very, very high expectations for this book. It was marketed as pirates and morally grayness, and we really didn't get a lot of action at all. In fact, none of this takes place at sea. You don't get any kind of pirate shenanigans, which is what I was expecting with the cover and the marketing and Blackbeard. So it's basically Blackbeard's story and him falling in love and how he decided to become a pirate. But even towards the end of the story, we don't really get him becoming a pirate. The author has alluded that there is a second book that she could possibly write to kind of fill in that gap. But overall, this one left me very underwhelmed and disappointed. It's not a bad book if you're looking for a historical fiction romance. This is right up your alley, but it was not what I expected and I gave this one 2.5 out of 5 stars. Alright guys, that is it for everything that I read in January. Comment down below and let me know if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them. Thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye!